So this is more typical of what I get with uh, the threshold and then island setting. I, I get a uh, connection between the humerus and the scapula and this is some soft tissue. And you can see my threshold's a little bit uh, more tolerant. So I'm getting these like little areas of gray. almost like I have a cactus here, like little thorns. There's no holes in the scapula, so that's an advantage. But these little uh, areas here are, are kind of poking out. And we'll be able to work with that as well. So I'm just kind of inspecting here and seeing what I can do with this. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to add another uh, segment and I'm going to call this humerus and um, I'm going to use the paintbrush to separate the humeral head from the scapula. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, so what I'm going to do is uh, get the paintbrush. These are the sizes of the paintbrush. Um, you can also, there's also a tool, I believe, on your keyboard. I don't know if you can, no, it's not doing that. Maybe it's plus, minus. Well, you can use a slider or this. I believe there's a keyboard command I'm forgetting that you can also use. You want to make sure that sphere brush and edit in 3Ds are selected, okay? So now I'm going to add whatever I paint to that new segment called humerus, okay? And what I'm really... I don't like what I've done, I can undo it. And I can see if I'm doing what I'm hoping to do by actually going over here and turning, hiding. So anything that's been painted is now becoming invisible since the layer is hidden. So as I move around, oops, sorry. So as I move around, ah, I forget once you've got that brush active, you can't change your view. Okay, so again, I'm looking primarily to get, the goal here is to get the head of the humerus off or separated from the glenoid fossa and since my humerus is the layer that this paintbrush is adding the humerus to is invisible or not being shown all my painting is in essence erasing the humerus and if those of you who watched the other video or if you looked at the other video and you saw how I got that one threshold setting and the islands and that separate, you can understand how, what a really lucky thing that was, fortunate thing that was. Okay, let's go back and check out. Other, so I wanna make sure there's no connection. There's still just a little bit of a thread right there. cannot stop myself from painting there. Okay. So I've got a little mess in here, a little bit of a humorous. Let's try first using um, islands again. And See if the scapula is bigger than this. I think they're both islands. The problem is, I don't think the software can see the scapula. It sees these two pretty similar. <laughs> like, these are both big islands. So, let's try this. I'm going to take the scissors and it's going to erase inside. This is very much like a like the lasso tool. Um, oh. Put the humerus. Oh, that's the humerus. Okay. Let's go back on the scapula here. 
Okay, so we're getting rid of the... Now if I go back and say islands, it leaves me just the scapula. Okay, that's one way of doing it. Like I said, it's going to be different for each of you, but those are the tools you're going to primarily use. Islands, or I'm sorry, first thresholds to isolate the bone, and then islands to uh, eliminate all pieces of bone that are smaller, and then um, you're going to create a layer for any kind of bone that's in the way and paint it and hide that and then um, use the scissors and the islands to modify further. Now right here, there's a little bit, I can clean up this portion of the glenoid foss, I think, a little bit. Let's see what happens if I do that. Yeah, that went too deep, that second one. But that little piece of uh, what we would call in the medical world, caca. A little mess right there. So see, there's an advantage and a disadvantage. The advantage with this is I'm seeing the whole thing. The disadvantage is I'm not sure I'm not getting, you know, some artifacts here that are going to have to be, you know, a corrected. Certainly, whoops. Certainly this guy right here, floating out in space, is not something that I need. Whoa, where did that come from? I must have accidentally pushed that. There we go. Okay, so that's good enough and then you can go through the export steps and we have another lesson that tells you how to export so this is a, i'm going to export this and we'll look at this in maya so we'll have really two or three different models uh, that we've exported out of here to try to try to get the right or the, the one we want the most okay